And speaking of stress, one in three adults in this country is a caregiver, which can oftentimes cause added stress, anxiety, even some frustration, especially if you find yourself caring for a spouse. This afternoon, we have Dr. Nicholas Allen, a research assistant professor at The Ohio State University, talking more about mental toll that caregivers can experience. Dr. Allen, thank you so much for joining us from The Ohio State University. Uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure it, to be here. It, it was stunning for me to see that number that one in three Americans are caregivers. Yeah, I mean that the and and uh, of note that number is is increasing. So in 2004, the number was reported as one in five. In 2015, it was one in four. And so this one in three has been over the last seven years. And with uh, baby boomers aging, their health needs coupled with the prevalence of conditions like Alzheimer's, that really suggests that that demand is going to increase even more. In a lot of cases, of course, it's not just uh, the spouse, but a lot of times it's a parent. That's very common. Uh, and it, it, it is so difficult physically to handle an adult that is incapacitated like that, but also the added dimension. Uh, if you have the dementia problem like that, it's, it's a, the mental stro uh, toll on the caregiver itself. How do we deal with that? That's an excellent question, and that, um, this segues nicely into what we were talking about, or what you were talking about before with uh, stress reduction. So uh, Emma Willis, Bruce Willis's wife, a couple of months ago, she put out a, a, a social media video where she was calling for caregivers to seek out moments of joy, um, and I think this really underscores the importance of self-care. And I want to be really clear here that self-care isn't a luxury. It's really a necessity. And, and so um, what I want to do is just uh, leave your audience with a few uh, suggestions that they can uh, uh, take in mind for self-care. One would be uh, uh, if, you're, if you find yourself in a caregiver role, please try your best to maintain your social connections. That's going to be a really important means to provide emotional support. Um, in addition, you really want to maintain or even improve physical health. This can include relaxation techniques, regular exercise, eating right, and getting plenty of sleep. Um, the same care should really be given to your mental health as well. Um, in my own work here at The Ohio State University, we've actually been testing brief interventions to target stress in older adults with memory impairment and their care partner, as we believe even these brief stress reduction skills uh, can improve quality of life for uh, adults um, with Alzheimer's as well as their care partners. Um, oh, it, sorry, it, just, go ahead. Go I was going to. I was going to ask: is, is it possible that uh, you you should insist on having a respite, having one day a week where you can actually go do something, go work out if you want to, go relax and read anything to get you your mind off of what you're currently having to deal with? Absolutely. I, and I think people often, when they think about relaxation, they think of it as something they'll squeeze in there when they take care of everything else. And it's it's really critical that you uh, take the time to relax so that you can actually fill all of the other roles that you have in your life. Now, you've done some research. Tell me about the research. Um, so the research that we are looking at is, is targeting uh, basically fear of anxiety. And so the idea behind that is a lot of people, when they become anxious, they end up becoming afraid of the bodily sensations that come along with that. And so what we're trying to teach uh, older adults and their care partners is that this anxiety is in fact not dangerous. And, and what that can lead to is when you're out in, in your uh, going about your day, something causes you uh, to get anxious, you're able to kind of dial that down. So the way that I I think about it is we're really trying to turn down the thermostat on the amount of anxiety that um, people feel. And mental health is a real problem for a lot of us. Dr. Allen, thank you so much for your time. Very insightful. Appreciate it. Thank you. Have a good